Boys and girls, we are gonna study our animal unit in first grade this week. We just got done with our rock unit, boys and girls. And in the rock unit, we learned that rocks are non-living. They don't grow or change, do they? They don't have babies. This rock can't have babies to make more rocks, can it? It doesn't breathe and it does not respond. If I hit the rock, it doesn't move or say, ouch, does it? So it's non-living. But what's an animal? Well, friends, an animal is a living creature, boys and girls. It grows, it changes, it responds, and it breathes. If I pet a dog, it might wag its tail because it likes it. If I scare an animal, it will jump. If it's a goat, it might faint, boys and girls. So we're gonna look at the characteristics of animals. We're gonna look at their habitats, where they live. We're gonna look at what they need to survive. They need air, water, food. They need shelter. We're gonna look at their offspring and we're also gonna look at their life cycles. Now there's six groups we are going to study, friends. The first group is amphibian. An amphibian is an animal that usually lives part of its life in water and part of its life on land. It's cold-blooded, which means that the inside of its body is the same temperature as it is outside. So if it's really hot outside, the amphibian is gonna be really hot. It's gonna to wanna to go find some mud or shade to cool off. But if it's really cold out, boys and girls, that amphibian is gonna be freezing on the inside and it's gonna be, a it's barely able to move. Have you ever been really cold outside and you could barely move your fingers or walk? Well, that's what it's like for cold-blooded animals. We're also gonna look at birds, friends. A bird is an animal that has feathers. It's warm blooded. That means the inside temperature of its body is the same all the time. It doesn't matter if it's cold outside or hot outside. The inside temperature of its body stays the same. Birds hatch from an egg. They have a backbone, they have a beak, and they have two legs and two wings. Have you ever seen a bird with four legs before? Me either. It certainly couldn't be a bird if it had four legs because they only have two. We're gonna look at fish, friends. A fish is an animal that lives in water, breathes through gills, has a backbone. Most fish have fins. They're covered with scales and they're cold blooded. We're gonna look at insects. Now friends, boys and girls, insects are really hard to find in the spring. Most of them are eggs still. They haven't hatched and it hasn't warmed up enough for them to come out. But an insect is a small animal with six legs. Its body is divided into three main parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. An insect has a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton, and most insects have wings and a pair of antennae. We're gonna take a look at mammals, friends. A mammal is an animal whose babies are fed with milk from the mother's body. It has a backbone, a well-developed brain, and a mammal has fur or hair on its body. It's a warm-blooded animal. And then, last but not least, we have reptiles. A reptile is an animal that has dry, rough, scaly skin. It has lungs for breathing. A reptile is cold-blooded. It has a backbone. And most reptiles hatch from eggs. Now, friends, you all picked an animal that you wanted to research and you have a packet that was delivered to you today and there's information about your animal in that packet. You go ahead and you do more research on that animal. You Google your animal, see if you can read some books either online or from the library on your animal and have fun investigating all the fun facts about your animal because you're gonna do a report on that animal and there is another packet that you got today that tells you how to do that. When you are watching the video that's coming after this, friends, we had a fun time making a video for you showing you all the different animals from these groups. When you watch that video, make sure you watch the whole thing because I put an animal fact in there that's not true. And I wanna see if you can find it 
If you find it, message me, message Mrs. Deliner, message Mrs. Hone, and let them know what it is. Have fun investigating. Message me, text me if you need any help, and we will help you.